morning. My name is Pastor Jeremy Shines, and this is our teachings. Let's pray. Father, bless us today. Forgive us, guide us, and help us and heal us. In Jesus' name, amen. Teach us. So today, we're going to be talking about producers and consumers. All right, so what does it mean to produce something? It means to create, to make, to fashion, to put something together, right? It's not necessarily music, all right, uh, or movies. It is. It just means the general aspect of creating, of making something, of crafting something, right? That's what it means to produce. Uh, farmers are producers of vegetables and fruits and so on and so forth, right? potatoes and apples and corns right that's what farmers produce obviously musicians produce music right and so forth uh directors right make so they are producing movies so i'm saying foods produce groceries movies uh, theaters produce movies uh pastors produce sermons <laughs> um knitters produce clothes and stuff like that you get the concept right uh we are all producers so when someone asks you what do you do for a living why do you produce for money really right what do you produce for a living what do you do for a living what do you produce for a living food clothing shelter uh, entertainment so on and so forth we are all producers we're made in god's image God loves to create, and we should love to create as well. Amen? So work really is produce. That's what work means, to produce. And so what are you producing? And my wife said a joke, I produce children. <laughs> right? Uh, what are you producing for a living? I produce nice haircuts. Right? People pay for it. I produce sunglasses, I produce shoes, I produce uh, vehicles, I manufacture for vehicles, or I sell vehicles, and so on and so forth. There are so many avenues of production or to produce something. What is your talents and gifts? God wants to use your talents and gifts to produce, right? Is it music? Is it movies? Is it... Um, clothing is it food is it art right we are all producers that's what it means to work i produce candy like i am um, i think my sister works at it, like a candy thing that right uh when i was in the military we were managing supplies we had to get supplies from the producers and manage the production right of the supplies we got right and so, and then we had to produce, we had to give or give out uniforms and clothings and pencils and pens, uh, paper and, and supplies that the, the unit would need to conduct their operations and so on and so forth. Uh, we're all producers. We're all creators. And that's a good thing, right? Um, so pastors, we produce sermons. We produce teachings. We produce... Um, prayer and healing and so on and so forth god uses us as a vessel to to do his work okay and so uh, the mines um produce gold and copper and silver right they, they they go out there and they dig holes and they get their equipment and they bring out the stuff to to make the phones and the tvs and electrical devices that we have right uh um the planes i produce taking passengers from one place to the next place right and so on and so forth um what do you produce for a living right what do you do for a living all right now we covered that so consumers we are all consumers what does it mean to consume we not just produce but we consume we digest we digest things for a living. So we produce homes, we produce food, 
we produce clothing and shelter, but we consume those things as well. This is true. We consume a home. We need a home. We need a home, right, to lay our head, right, and to protect us from the weathers, right? Uh, we need clothing. We need clothing. And so there's this there's this medium here called money that's allowed us to back in the day it was just barter, right? I'll sell you I'll give you 10 tacos if you give me some shoes, right? And that but but not everybody has those kind of talents and gifts to make a house, right? <laughs> or to make clothes, right? Or the time to do that. Can you imagine each of us having to make our own clothes? I have to make my own clothes, my own shoes, my own house, my own food. My, that'd be a lot, right? I, I, it'd be more efficient and effective to have people, other people who will focus all day and all night doing those things. And I can just uh, barter a, a, a kind of currency to get those things from them. Amen. But then they can do the same for me. Amen. I, I, I don't have time to be learning psychiatry and, and help, you know, managing my own crazy thoughts and and uh, trying to entertain myself and, and trying to build a house and make clothes. And I don't have time and you don't have time and each of us to do all those things by ourselves. We need other people to do that. Therefore, there's the avenue of money. Right. Uh, another bartering system. Money really means nothing without the supplies. It's just a way of transaction, having a transaction of things, right? But with that being said, we are consumers. We consume things. We we need clothes, right? Uh, for the different kinds of weather uh, or, or just covering, right, as well. Same thing with homes. Same thing with food. Same thing with entertainment. What would life be without entertainment? It'd be very boring. We'd be, we would all probably commit mass suicide. I hate to say that because it'd be boring. We'd be like so bored, laborsome. All I do is labor. We need something to inspire us, something to motivate us, something to uh, give us hope. And that's what entertainment does. It gives us hope to continue to wake up and do, and do what we need to do to live and survive. Okay. So, uh, why why is the mu movie industry so big well probably for other reasons i'm sure but because we need hope why are we doing this right what's the purpose what's the point right when you'll be inspired uh and so forth hopefully the, the only reason would be to go for god right but what would be like what, what would life be without um something to do on the weekends to, to be entertained with, like I said, boring, right? Um, hopelessness, right? So forth. And so we produce and we consume food, clothing, shelter, and all that stuff, right? That's what we are as human beings. We are producers and consumers. Isn't that interesting? We're producers and consumers. We produce and then we consume. That's all we do here. All we do here on earth and all we're going to do for the rest of our life is produce and consume. <laughs> we're going to work, right? And someone out of our labor, someone is going to experience what we have to have to offer them. Think about that. So I'm making these sermons, right? To hopefully inspire, to teach, to educate, to give wisdom and help people's lives be a little better right? Make better choices or uh, help them see things a little more clearly, uh, help them, ex which is to s experience God more, really, right? Uh, experience truth more. And this will change their life. You know, when you watch these sermons, you're planting seeds in your mind, and eventually these seeds are going to grow into an experience that you're going to have in the future. They may not grow overnight. You're not going to just, okay, I watched the sermon. All right, where is it at? No, <laughs> the seeds take time to grow. But in the future, you're going to have, you're going to experience what I taught you. You're not going to digest everything I have. Some things you're going to have revelation. It's going to be revealed to you in this sermon or revealed to you today or next week or within the week or within the month or within the year or two. But then some, some other things you're going to be like, wow, I really enjoyed his teachings. It, 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 it gave, got me closer to God and it made me more appreciative of life, right? It's going to happen. 
um, give me a good review. Give me some thumbs up. <laughs> right? And it, it inspired me to feel like I have purpose. Therefore, it made me makes me um, not hate my job so much or makes me love my job even more or love my spouse or my kids or people even more um, and so forth. So I produce sermons and teachings that help people get closer to Jesus, closer to God, to have a better experience in life. Same thing in the entertainment business. They do the same thing. Uh, they produce movies for and music for you guys to have a good experience in life. Well, that's, like I said, that's not entirely true, right? But uh, uh, we believe in the devil and we believe that he's trying to destroy people's lives <laughs> through entertainment and stuff. Uh, that's another message. But they want you showing back up again. They want you... In a, in a sense, it depended upon their stuff. Uh, that's why we like and share and subscribe to certain uh, channels and um, people and so on and so forth, right? But that's the entertainment aspect and the information aspect and so on and so forth, all right? Let's talk about the food aspect of consuming, right? So people go to work, they, they, they're cooks, they cook food all day. Or they make the food that goes to the restaurant to cook the food, right? And the restaurants are buying different kinds of food from different kinds of farms because hey the, the customers really enjoyed this i don't know uh tomato soup oh we we changed our tomatoes we didn't buy from this company anymore or this farm anymore we buy from this one and they make better or fresher or more likable tomatoes right and so therefore our tomato soup is a lot better than it is and it has the customers wanting to come back for more Amen. Same thing. I'm always trying to figure out how to make better videos, right? Or shoe companies. They're trying to figure out, you know what? Why are people buying these shoes or this shoes? Well, because it, it looks more awesome and amazing. But the shoe's crappy. It doesn't last very long. So they, they were buying them and then the reviews were going down. So well, well, what material were we using? We're using this from this company of China. Maybe we should make our own material and it'll last longer and people will will want to buy it. You know, people talk about every experience they're given. Okay. And so we as we as human beings, we thrive off of competition, in other words, and we sh and that's a good competition is not always a bad thing. Okay. It's not. It's entertaining for one, right when it comes to sports. However, it's also it makes us want to do better in life. It, it should make the the opposing community or the or I mean, the opposing company or whatever want to better themselves we should want to better ourselves too in everything we do all right so so you know it's not about being better than them it's just about being better being better you know it just so happens that people like our stuff rather than their stuff right like our food rather than their food there's certain grocery stores i like going to and certain grocery stores i don't like going to certain places i like buying meat from and certain places i don't like buying meat from right i had a good experience with this meat company rather than this one <laughs> and so forth there you have it we consume based off of what i buy apple products like i have an apple phone right I have an iphone i have a mac why because i had a good experience with it it's easy to navigate through uh it's fast like it's quick uh it doesn't have all the gaming things i don't use it for that i use it for making videos i use it for making music i use it for just navigating through the internet and stuff like that it's easy for me i like it and the same thing with my phone it's easy and i like it that's why i will i will spend two thousand dollars on a laptop or a computer or uh, i would spend a lot of money for a phone iphone because i had a good experience and I and I want to continue to do that. so. I take what I cons I take what I produce and make money from it, and then I use it to consume uh, things that I enjoy. And when we go, we went grocery shopping yesterday, and there were certain foods that I enjoyed for a while, or certain foods that I tried for the first time that I was like, I'm not buying that again. <laughs> right. We are consumers and producers. I was looking at what we were spending on food, what we we're spending in general. I'm like, 
And I just was like, didn't we just buy a bunch of the stuff like last month or last year? Did we just buy that again? <sighs> right? I, I It was donations wise. So I donated, they were making free balloon animals or balloon stuff. And we I donated like six bucks because my girls, we went to a, um, a balloon festival, like a air, hot air balloon things and stuff they were they weren't going in the air but they were lighting them up and everything and it was it was we had a good experience so we went again right and then got the girls a balloon thing uh animal things and they had a good experience so therefore we consume that and i'm like watching the money that we get in purchasing and consuming this thing for them <laughs> So what does that have to all do with each other? We cons we produce things. So th they were producing this balloon festival and we were consuming it by enjoying them doing it for us. There you have it. The farmers are producing food for us to consume. I'm producing sermons and teachings for you guys to consume, to better your spiritual life, All right? And this is everywhere. There are certain preachers or teachers that I don't listen to anymore because I had, I had a lot of bad experiences spiritually. I was like, not just watching it, but just later in life, it, it, it made me more suspicious and more hateful or more uh, eh, towards people. And I was like, wait, where did this come from? And so I was like, oh, it's this teeth. Yeah, unsubscribe. <laughs> right? So what's the purpose of life? Well, we're either consuming good or we're consuming evil. And based off of which, we're going to have an experience. The Bible says if you consume evil, you're going to have an evil experience. You're going to have a bad experience. If you consume good, you're going to have a good experience. Amen? So they it's funny because they work together. It's weird. What makes me want to produce, what makes me want to create, what makes me want to work is what I consume. What I consume is makes me produce the bible says you being evil how do you produce good when there's nothing but evil inside of you no you must digest good you must be a partakers consumers of good not of the worldly entertainment the worldly knowledge and all that stuff you need to consume the goodness of god therefore you can produce the goodness of god wow we are consumers and we are producers. But my question is, what are you consuming? If you consume evil, your behavior, your work will be evil. If you consume good, your work will be good. Well, how do I consume good? The Bible, church, prayer, fasting, hanging out with God's people, uh, watching godly movies, listening to godly music, right? Going to godly events, right? Doing godly things, what the Bible commands us, what we should do and what we shouldn't do will change our experiences and also change what we produce. I used to make, I used to not be saved and I would digest worldly things. I would consume worldly, worldly entertainment, movies, music, friends. I would live in sin and do sinful things. And and my behavior and my work was evil, evil, evil. And I couldn't keep relationships and I couldn't keep a job and I couldn't be consistent in anything. And everything was bad for me. But then I got a hold of a Bible because some my wife gave one to me and invited me to church and I got addicted and I got saved. And now I love the word of God. Now I'm a pastor. Now I'm a teacher. Now I'm a father of four, uh, a minister of helping people. 
so on and so forth. My life has changed around and now I have things for myself because I've consumed good. And that's what we're trying to freely give to you guys. And you can donate if you decide to. I'm still going to preach and teach if you don't. And, and, and because of that, my life has changed, my experiences have changed, and my production has changed. Amen. What I produce and what I do has changed. Now my movies and music is, is all for good and all for Jesus and God. Amen. Amen. Um, but I can still be tempted back to producing and making evil things. And so what you consume will show up in how and how you behave and how you work and what you're creating and producing. They work together. And this this is this is what we do. Now here's the spiritual aspect of it. We live in a world that was created by God, taken over by the devil and being reclaimed for God again, little by little. This is a war. It's a war. It's a war over our souls. Over what? Consuming and producing. What do you do? What do you go to work for? Do you go to work for God? If you go to work for God, then you digest the things of God and you produce the things of God. Would do you go to work for Satan? Then you digest the things of evil that the Bible says is evil, and you produce the things of evil. Your music, your conversation, your movies, uh, you, everywhere you go is evil, right? Or not everywhere, but a lot of places you go is not good for you, the Bible says, right? The people you hang out with, all that stuff. So what are you consuming? Will be what you produce. It will be what you do. You and I become what we consume if you eat sh fatty foods all day you'll become fat if you eat vegetables all day and healthy foods all day you'll become healthy amen welcome to life uh we are like a like a sphere of cons but half of it is consume produce consume produce right if you eat peanut butter, you're going to smell like peanut butter and you're going to poop out peanut butter. <laughs> if you eat good, you'll produce good. If you will if you eat evil things, digest evil things, you'll produce evil. See, it all goes like this. And in the end of time, we'll stand before God and God will be like, you're mine. You're my sheep because you consume my word. You consume the things that are good, you do the things that I say the Bible says to do, and you produce good. You tell people about me. You you uh, do good deeds, right? Good the things of God and so forth. But you ever notice a good person and a bad person? The difference is they consume evil and they do evil, and a good person consumes good and they do good. <laughs> You ever notice that? We can't have one without the other. So my question is, what are you going to consume today? What are you going to consume? You want your life? We make New Year's resolutions all the time. And we don't live up to them all the time. Why? Because we don't change our diet. Spiritual diet. We don't change what we consume through our, through our thoughts, through our eye gate and our ear gate. If you begin to change what you consume through your eyes and your ears, you will change. Your behavior in your life will change. Your attitudes and your desires will change. Who you associate with and who you don't associate with will change. And what you do for a living will start to change. You may do the same thing, but you won't do it for evil. You'll do it for good. And then it'll come full circle again. Amen. But if you, if you want an evil life, a bad life, man, listen to all the secular, worldly things. Don't go to church. Don't read your Bible. Don't do anything the Bible tells you to do. And you'll see your life just going in a negative, dark void. Just 
evil, just, right? I'm trying to get you guys to go the other way, right? For good. <laughs> and the devil's trying to get you to go this way. There you have it, folks. There's the world right there summed up for you. Every day we produce good, not just for ourselves, but for us, for others and the world, or we produce evil. Not just for ourselves, but for everyone in the world. This is why I said a kind of half-truth with producing and consuming is the fact that there's a devil in the world and he wants us consuming evil so we can produce evil behavior, evil actions, and, 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 and destruction. But there's also God who wants us to consume good and to produce good, not just for ourselves, but for others. Amen. And that's every day of our life. We are consuming evil and producing evil or we're consuming good and producing good. And the world is shifted and shaped by that. So how do you produce good? Get in the word of God every day. Consume good. Man doesn't live on bread alone, but in every word that comes from the mouth of the Bible, of God, which is in the Bible. <laughs> so consume the Bible every day. Amen. And watch your life change and watch your cult, your, the culture change. Watch your community change because of you are consuming good. Be an example. You can only be an example when you are consuming a good example, which is the word of God. Get the word of God in your mind every day. Amen. And watch your life change and watch you affect the community that God has put you in. But if you don't, you're going to watch your community crumble and, and the things around you crumble. And that's not good. What are you consuming today? And I have a choice too. I have free will to consume evil today just as well as you do as a pastor. But I choose not to because I know it's not good. And I know it's not helping me or my community or the world. So what are you going to consume today? What are you going to consume this week, this month? this year for the rest of your life. And based off what you consume through your eyes and through your ears is what you will produce in the world. Why the world is so evil? Because we don't consume God enough. We consume the world and then we get the world and we're like, what happened? It's because we didn't consume the Lord. But when we get, when we consume the Lord and his word, we breathe the Lord into the world and then the world is healing. It gets healed. It gets uh, love. Amen. Amen. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time. God bless. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this word. Bless us. Bless them. In Jesus' name, God bless.